hello everyone so our today's topic is texture so maybe you all are wondering that why i'm telling you texture uh, it's see i believe that it is a very important element in fashion design like your color like your pattern uh, like etc so texture also constitute a very important chapter or a very important topic especially in the into the fashion design because texture greatly affects the look of a garment the feel the lucidity in a way influencing the appearance of a person wearing the garment see what is texture basically texture is connected if i am talking about in the uh, is it related to the fabric so texture is basically it's a touch it's a feel uh, of any surface like for example example i am having this image over here right so if i am going to tell you what is the texture of uh, this picture of this object so texture can be described by your own word but if we are talking about in the term of the fabric so we can texturize the fabric by adding some stitch details some pin tucks embellishment etc so each fabric has its individual character and charm a wise choice of mix and design to fit the silhouette of our body can result in executed fashion but before we evaluate the myriad charms of different types of fabric it is necessary to understand the importance of texture so for that i need to share my screen first uh before sharing my screen there are some questions arising in my mind that what is texture i'm going to tell it uh, right now but before that i want to ask something like if i said to you that you need to tell me the texture of uh, wool what should be the first word come into your comes into your mind it might be loopy it might be fuzzy it might be furry for you yeah okay the next question comes into my mind why is texture important in fashion like the answer is it can increase or decrease the body size it can draw attention to a design like right? uh, especially if i am talking about a fabric texture so fabric texture also propagate the you can say that a uh, uh, so called masculine and feminine idea like for example velvet is a female and leather is a male right and um, texture is a very uh, i can say that it is a very uh, important uh, element of design it is but again it is also associated with our emotions like for example if i am talking about uh, a cracks onto a wall you can feel the emotion like it is very scary uh, you know and texture can also uh associated with that nostalgia of feelings ideas etc uh texture is one of the sensory element i would like to say it is also associated with our senses okay texture can not only feel you can also hear the texture yes you have heard it right like for example i am having something i am going to make a sound and you need to identify the texture before we move further so if i am going to bang something you need to identify you can easily make it out that i am banging something onto a steel or onto a metal right how by hearing like i have said it before that it is also associated with your sensory organs so you can feel the texture you can see the texture as well as you can hear the texture now i would like to play a sound just identify the sound it's a sound of breaking glass so like i have said it before that you can hear the texture also so just to move further i would like to share my screen with you all to understand the texture in a deeply manner so texture so texture again like the definition of a texture is texture is a surface quality related closely to our senses of touch feel or sight like i have shown you this this object 
you can see there are two and three this is this object is a combination of two and three a different texture if you're seeing onto the top you can feel a very fuzzy very soft texture of the flower but if you're looking onto the leaf you're having a very prickly pricky pricky or a spiky texture and if you're looking at the base you can find a very shiny texture so all these are the different texture textures are present in each and every object whether it is a fabric it is your food it is your any object so i believe that texture is also a very important uh, topic and there are a lot of question has to be asked related to the texture into your entrance exam or in all the way so how can we describe texture so there are some words which will which can easily describe which will help you to describe the texture like for example prickly fuzzy rough smooth itchy loopy sheer all these words can be come under the you can use all these to describe a texture of an object texture again is a very important uh, element of your design like it uh, gives or it enhance your clothing okay by seeing this picture you can notice there are different types of texture so if uh, i am i have to divide texture so there are two categories of texture one is the visual which you can see which you, which you can uh, sense by seeing another is the tactile texture which you can touch which are the real one by by touching it you can feel it like it's pricky spiky loopy bumpy right soft like that vision by seeing you can see like it's it look like spikes don't touch it like when you are seeing any cactus a plant you can't simply go and touch them now because you can see you can sense that if we are going to touch it it might get we might get hurt right so that is a visual texture by vision you can um, analyzing that it might be hurt right uh, if you are seeing any ch uh, chipped ball surface of the wall you can easily make out and that uh, this wall is uh, having a very scaly texture so i hope the category of texture is clear to you all touch and vision now come to the different types of texture like i have already uh, explained it that actually textures are basically divided into the two categories one is the actual texture or the tactile texture which we can touch and feel and the another one is the visual fact uh, visual texture which we can by seeing we can identify so again we are going to sub categorize visual texture into the three sub categories one is the simulated texture another one is the abstract texture and the third one is the invented texture now tactile texture tactile texture of original material indicates the characteristics of surface of a material itself like by seeing this picture you can easily identify the characteristics of the surface like the first picture is very cracky so it it could be a picture of any cracky wall the second one is the bump the loop one the below one is the spiky one right so by seeing or the scaled one the third one is the scaly picture so by seeing you can also make the texture you can also identify you can also feel the texture another one is the visual it again related to our sensation it again related to our perception by seeing the surface uh, you can identify the texture like if you are seeing any silk sari if you are seeing any silk fabric you can easily make out it's a very cool texture it's a very soft texture texture in in fashion design textures plays a very 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 important part like for example if you want to give any emotion emotional feeling of warmth coolness coziness so might be you are using suppose for example you need to uh, you need to design a category for especially for the kids or the infant so you are, what type of texture you are going to choose so uh, my answer is you should choose uh, uh, all that uh, you know warm cozy kind of a fabric like flannel fabric like wool or the mixture of the wool and cotton fabric so that it gives it gives that warm feeling as well as it gives you a very furry effect furry texture 
it gives you a warm feeling also and it also remain uh, give you a very cozy cozy effect cozy and comfort effect suppose if you want to give a texture of very uh, luxurious thing something uh, you need to show it very in a very elaborated manner to mind we can use silk fabric velvet fabric so there are different different textures of all these fabrics so visual texture are so realistic means you can say that it is also used to create illusions of your eyes believing it into the reality again there are two different sub categories of visual texture one is simulated textures another one is the invented texture and the third one is the abstract texture simulated are not the real textures they are the imitation of original thing like for example uh, snake skin print animal skin uh, print so that comes under the simulated category of visual texture invented intentionally by using any two dimensional pattern or by dictation of some lines shapes or any 2d or 3d object we are creating a texture it's not actually present into the nature abstract texture that uh, are not uh, directly represent the object it is connected but yeah the object is translated into the textural pattern means that comes under the abstract category here are the pictures or the examples like invented texture like i have already said it before invented textures you can find the reality you can't resemble directly into the real life like you can see this bear picture there you can easily identify that it is a bear but the texture of the skin is not the real one so the texture simulated two different senses sight and the touch by seeing you can see it is a bear by by touching you can't right the purpose of the invented texture is to create decorated surface that evoke memories of your unsensual textures like uh, by seeing this picture you can easily recognize that it is a bear but the skin is completely different the texture is completely different so the uh, texture or the invented texture are not found in your real life it is completely created this image is the example of simulated texture simulated texture are the imitation of the real one like while seeing first picture you can easily relate this picture with the cracky uh, wall which is chipped the second image this image you can see that it could be a uh, inspiration or the designer could inspired by seeing any spikes or if he or she wants to give any spiky effect so these are the simulated texture which are always taken up uh, uh, as an inspiration from the real life or the real texture third one is the this the example of the abstract one now coming to the another thing like what are the different factors or the different different things which affects texture especially into the fabric or especially into the fashion design so first thing is the fiber content like i have already given you an example of uh, blended fabrics of blended fiber of wool and cotton if you are going to mix wool and cotton um together it will give you a very fuzzy look another factor is weaving suppose for example if you want to give a uh, any uh, smooth feeling or a fab uh, smooth feeling of a fabric so you can mix any metallic yarn into your silk fabric it will give you a very lustrous effect as well as a very smooth effect knitting with the help of knitting we can also create texture like for example if uh, you want to give any loopy texture if you want to uh, give any soft feeling texture you can combine any uh, silk yarn with to the knitting or any brocade with to the knitting for technique embroidery again if you want to give any 3d kind of effect you can use french knot you can use bullion knots if you want to give any bumpy or a rough effect you can use embroidery another one is the printing with the help of different types of printing like your 3d printing emboss printing block printing batik printing you can also give different type of textures to your fabric so all these three or four things you can by using all these three uh, 
all these technique you can give a lot of texture into your fabric so shall we move further this is the these are the examples of different types of texture first picture you can see it is a giving a very bulky effect the another one could be a combination of printing the third one is the furry effect texture now what are the characteristics of texture so uh, like i have also said you before said it before that textures are also associated with our emotions like it it could be a nostalgia it could be feeling it could be ideas it could be anything so texture also helpful to enhance or detract from a garment right if you it can also give a illusion of height texture can also help to give you the illusion of shape size as well as the look all together if i am talking the bulky texture seems to add volume to the figure dull finishes always absorbs light and generally makes the figure look smaller shiny fabrics makes the figure appear larger and reveal figure irregularities textures are for different body types like for example tall people always should avoid bulky and the weighty textures short people should pick from the short uh, soft and dull textures those that won't draw the uh, focus of the body but will uh, evenly distributed to aspects as shape and contours stiff crisp textures make the total body shape appear bigger because it stands away from your body having a very thin edge or a pointed edge can cut things easily crisp textures have greater surface area and cover large area so this is a this was a very uh, small presentation about the texture apart from this i would like to uh, say that again texture is very important in all the design thing sometimes some indirectly question could be asked uh, regarding the texture by showing you any object you have to identify the texture so texture also reflects light it absorb light as well as it's it's reflect light so there are uh, those were the important things which i i believe that you should know about the texture so uh, i'm going to wind up this session here if you have any doubt if you have any queries you can ask and you need to more practice about the texture by seeing it by observing it uh real life texture sometimes and you can find texture each and everywhere like i have said it before you can find the texture into the food also like suppose for example you are eating any uh cake sponge cake so you can tell the texture of that cake the if you are uh, eating a white chocolate cake or um, black forest cake the texture of the cake the two pieces of the cake is divided like the first upper layer is a very creamy very soft and then lower one is having a different texture you can easily identify texture by uh, your sensory organs so is into the fashion design by closing your eyes if you are spreading your hand onto the surface of the fabric you can easily identify the texture so remember all the points which i have explained it into this presentation it will help you it will guide you so thank you so much for this session have a good day